I'm here with Carlton. Carlton, you can give me a little bit of information about yourself. Uh, man, I've been doing mixed martial arts for about four years now. Um, a friend turned me on to it. I went to the class just to try it out, and I got bit by the bug, and I've been doing it ever since. So since 2007, I've been in MMA. Okay, and what got you involved? Uh, you know, I had a shoulder cone background. Actually, I trained as a kid with USA Karate, so, um, you know, I wasn't no stranger to mixed martial arts. I grew up as a kid wanting to be like Bruce Lee and all these guys on TV, so, you know, my teenage years, I took shoulder cone or whatever, and then I kind of lost track of it, went to high school, played football and everything, but like I said, that friend took me to the class, and that bug bit me again, and I was like, you know what, I missed this, I want to do it, so. Did anyone in your family play, uh, play? did anyone in your family perform martial arts? Yeah, I got, uh, Man, a laundry list of cousins, they all took uh, Taekwondo. So we had this little rivalry because they were Taekwondo and I was Karate. So, but yeah, pretty much my whole family, you know, has been in martial arts. And you said um, you played football in school. Do you feel like yeah. that played a factor into your martial arts? It helped me, you know, it gave me a, a base and a foundation to, to start from. You know, I didn't come in as green as most people would be. So I had a little athletic ability in me and I just built from there. So the football definitely helped me out. Yeah, it definitely helped me out. Um, words of wisdom for youth that are in school thinking, oh, maybe I should try that. What do you think? Oh, do your research. You know, um, it, it, it looks like it's fun and everything that it is, but if you don't go in there fully prepared, you know, and protect yourself, you can't get hurt. So what I would, you know, recommend for anybody out there thinking about doing it is just, you know, you may not never be the best, but you're trying to be the best. And, you know, what I would tell people is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So you may not ever be the most athletic or the fastest guy, but if you work harder than that guy, you know, nine times out of ten, you'll beat them because they're not working hard. They're slacking. So just go in 100%, you know. Don't slack. Just give it your all. And do you have a training philosophy? Uh, go hard or go home. Yeah, go hard or go home. Like I said, leave it all in the gym because training is the hard part. Fighting the cage is easy. This is where you get beat up at in the cage. So, you know, just come to class like a sponge, soak everything up. You know, you'll get beat up in class so you don't get beat up in the cage. Yeah. And what motivates you to do this every day? What makes you want to come to the gym daily? Oh, uh, I'm competitive. I, I just, I'm not a sore loser, but if I can prevent myself from losing, I mean, and I know coming to class is what's going to help me with that, you know, that's what I got to do. So I'm pretty much down for doing anything that's going to prepare me to go in the cage and put the best Carlton Little in the cage that I can be, you know. I don't want to go in there 85%, so I know I got to come to class frequently, you know. I don't come as much as I want to. If I could do it every day, I, I would, but, you know, of course I got to work and everything, but I want to get to where I can do it full time, so. What do you do as a day job? Uh, I'm a head of security at Coyote Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He has a BMF shirt. Yeah. I was going to ask another question too. I hate it when I. Yeah, BMF. <laughs> you know what that means? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. I've mm -hmm. never gotten in trouble with anybody. I don't know. I'm but when girl. I'm hungry, it's bring me food. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any misconceptions of you? Uh, no, I mean, I come off as a, you know, laid back, easy guy, friendly, you know. Uh, kind hearted, I'll give my arm to somebody if I could, you know, I'll do anything to help anybody, so, you know, I don't know if there's anybody that can say anything bad about me, if they, are, if they are, I'm sorry, I apologize, let's work it out, but I pretty much don't step on anybody's toes, I'm, I'm cool and laid back. You have a fight coming up in Missouri, can you yeah. tell us a little bit about it? Title defense, um, I won the belt a year ago, and, you know, uh, I went back maybe twice and every time I went the opponent ended up backing out the last minute so you know finally this time they got a legit guy that's committed it's gonna happen so November the 5th I look to go defend my belt and come back with it you know I worked hard for it I don't plan on giving it up anytime soon so yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun well, we look forward to you coming home with the belt. Yes. We give you a chance to give thanks to anybody you'd like, anybody in your gym, any training partners. Um, Family, this your, friends, yeah, McDonald's. This is, this is your time to give thanks to anybody who's influenced you in life. Uh, I'm going to do like my, my training partner. I definitely got to give thanks to God first. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Um, he definitely kept me walking a straight and narrow. Uh, my family, you know, my support system, you know, my, my kids. The school, USA Karate, Ronin, you know, just everybody that supports Carlton, you know, and just, you know, be looking out for big things for me in the future. Well, I thank you so much for your time, and I wish you the best of luck, and we look forward to hearing from you again. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right. <laughs>